a very very blessed day to you all welcome again once again to this brief exhortation i trust that you're all having a blessed day well my name is pastor floris lyman and i welcome you if you have not yet subscribed to my youtube channel please do subscribe to my youtube channel i'm also on instagram practical talk with floris lyman i am on youtube practical talk with floris lyman and on Facebook, Practical Talk with Floyd Slimon. Thank you so much for joining me. I trust that you will be blessed by this exhortation. Right, so my title for today is What is in your hands? What is in my hands? I'm sure somebody will be asking, mm, what do you mean, what is in my hands? Yeah, look, 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 what is in your hands? It looks like it's empty, it's plain, but deep inside, there is something. It means deep inside of us, we have all been blessed. We have all been blessed. Our hands were not given to us, just for us to sit down and be idle and not use it. Our hands were given to us for various purposes. Go to the washroom, we use the toilet, our hands are very useful. <laughs> yeah? In the kitchen for cooking, our hands are useful. Um, you know, for grooming, our hands are useful. You know, um, what else have I have I not mentioned? Our hands are useful for our various gifts and skills, which is where I am heading today in this exhortation. That the, even the creator that created us, our father that created us. You know, because he is skillful, because he is vast in his gift. That is why we say he is wonderful. We cannot describe the wondrous works of his hands. And because we are made in his image and his likeness. Oh, wow. It means you and I, our hands are loaded. Hmm. Ooh, I am learning. I am learning, brothers and sisters. You know, what am I sitting on? Some of us are sitting on gold and diamond, oxide. We're sitting on gems. Our skills are there, dormant, our gifts. But because it's either we've identified it or we've ignored, or some of us don't even know. Some of us don't even believe that we are gifted. Ooh, our <laughs> Oh, oh, we have seen what we have. Instead of us to improve on that which we have, we've left it. Our eyes are on somebody else's own. What somebody else is doing, that's what our eyes are on. We are being spiteful. Instead of us working, say, you know, ask the Father, ask the Holy Spirit to help you, you know, or, you know, employ a coach, pay for, for coaching, you know, um, sit down and review. Imagine the things that you can do naturally. Try to turn that into a business. What, what is your passion? Oh, what is your vision? Right in there, our gifts are lying in there. They don't just come like that vividly. Only once in a while, our gifts can just stand in our faces vividly. But these are some things that we have been naturally born to do. And obviously, some of them are acquired, means we have to do some form of training. Right. So I believe as I speak right now, you're juggling your mind and you're thinking, what is my gift? What is my gift? Yeah, because a lot of us are sitting down and we we are looking at our problems around us especially financially you know we can't have these conversations without talking about money because even the scripture says that money answers all things mm, it means a lot of things we want to do without the finance it won't be possible there will be frustration you know plus, plus also a lot of lives are out there they are waiting on us you and i we are a solution to a lot of people's problems Ooh. Well, I'm going to open the scriptures. This is just one part. I won't be able to touch on everything today, but this is just one part. And I might come back to this, but I'm sure this is more than enough for us for today. Thank you so much for joining. Wherever you're joining me from, please subscribe so that you can benefit from what is coming out from this platform. Right, so let us look at our scripture for today. Our scripture is going to come from 1 Corinthians chapter 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, 
from verse 5. Let us, uh, I did say from verse 5, but we can take it from verse 4. It says, this is Apostle Paul when he was addressing the Corinthian church. He says, there are different kinds of gifts. Just listen to that. There are different kinds of gifts. It means I can have a gift and you can have another one. We don't necessarily need to have the same one because we are all wonderfully and fearfully made. We are unique. He says there are different kinds of gifts, but the same spirit distributes them. So it's the same God, the same creator that created you and I that have distributed all of those gifts abroad for all of us to tap into. He says there are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. There are different kinds of working, but in all of them and in everyone, it is the same Father at work. It is the same God at work. Hey, verse 7 says, now to each one, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good. It says to one there is given, so now we're talking about the spiritual gifts here. We'll, we will talk about the other gifts that we can use in the secular wise. We are out there in the secular world. So verse 8 says, to one there is given through the Spirit a message of wisdom. So somebody is gifted with wisdom. You know, we all have wisdom. Because the Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Well, it's just that some people are now gifted extraordinarily with wisdom. You hear some people say something, you go, oh, wow, that is wisdom there. It says to another a message of knowledge by the means of the same spirit. He is not partial. He's the one that distributes them all. It says to another faith by the same spirit. Ah, when I saw this one time that actually... Some people are gifted in faith because some people operate in a level that you just cannot understand. So there is a special extra grace to operate in faith, even though all of us might have faith. Wow. It says to another, gifts of healing by that same spirit that distributes them all. It says to another, miraculous powers. Hey, to another, prophecy. To another, distinguishing between spirits. Ooh, discernment. You hear some people say some people have the spirit of discernment. To another, speaking in different kinds of tongues. Ooh, and still to another, the interpretation of tongues. Verse 11 says, all these are the work of one and the same spirit. And he distributes them to each and every one just as he determines. Oh, my sake <laughs> What? So number one, if you are a believer, now this is more kingdom operated gifts. So if you're a Christian, you're a child of God, you're a believer, you're sitting out there like me and you're thinking, hey, what is my gift? One of these belongs to you. One of these belongs to you. And also remember, um, verse 5 spoke about different kinds of service for the same Lord. So you have secondary services. So if you're an usher, um, you know, you are in the host, you are, you know, you're in the welfare team, you know, you have all these other secondary services that everybody's good at. I'm not good at decoration. I'm not going to sit down here and lie to say I'm, I'm the best. But wow, I celebrate and I support those who decorate well. So maybe you are good at decorating, you're good at hair dressing, and some of those skills are skills that are transferable. We can use in the outside world. Maybe you are you are an IT technician, you are a teacher, you're good at being a teacher. That's your service. The Bible says whatever our hands find it to do, you say what? Do it well. And also scripture makes me to understand that our gifts shall make room for us. Ooh. So you're sitting there, you're crying that we are broke, we are hard up, we need cash. What are we doing with our gifts? Maybe your gift is to cook, you know, but you've left it and you're looking at somebody else's, somebody's doing your dressing and you're upset that they are making money. But yet still, you've abandoned what is mine that I've abandoned, that I need to pick back up? What is that gift? Hallelujah. Ooh. It says he has scattered all those gifts abroad for many of us to pick up. Some of us, we're still struggling here and there. 
Let's seek help. If we need help, let us seek help. If we need to identify, if we're struggling to identify the gifts that the Lord has blessed us with, the gifts that are going to make room for us, the gifts that are going to open doors, you know, it says our answer blessed. It says whatever your hands find there to do, do it and do it diligently. Well, if we have not identified what to do, first of all, in the, you know, how can we do it? And if we are doing it already, how can we get better in doing that gift, in performing that gift, in, in displaying our skills, our talents, our abilities? The Bible says anyone that is consistently doing that, he will bless them. That's why even the unbelievers, this is for everybody now general. It's the principle of sowing and reaping. Somebody will be successful out there with their business. They've discovered that they are good at business. Some people are good at one particular business. Some people is various kinds of businesses. But because they are consistently doing it, they are finding ways to improve. Yes, they learn from others, not spite others, because there is no place for profit when you spite others. No, no, no. Because God has blessed each and every one of us. He has blessed us all. We just need to pray and identify, seek help, identify, start putting into practice. Some, some of our gifts is going to cost us. Oh, yeah? For some of us, it's going to cost us. Some of us, we need to invest to get that skills established. You know, you want to become a designer. You're going to invest in sewing machines. You're going to invest in, you know, all different kind of threads, wool, everything to ensure, you know, at least there is a starting point. You want to become a, a top-notch ear dresser. You're going to start, you know, from moving from your house, doing here from your house. You need to move into a shop that you're going to convert into a salon. You know, you need to invest in hair dryers, all manners of things. So there is a place for sacrifice as well. But believe you me, you will reap the harvest. We will reap the harvest. What are you good at? You know, some of us, you know, some of us are bloggers. Use your blogging well. Some of you are influencers. Some of you, you are good with speaking. Use your speaking. Some of us, you are host. Host well. Ooh, host well. Because you just don't know who is watching, who is looking at you and I. Have you heard about people? Maybe some of us, for some of you, is singing. Singing. Sing well because you just don't know who is going to pick you up and start sending you all over the place to perform. Some of you is acting. Ha, 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 ha. Ooh. Just imagine how many I have named. We've come from the spiritual. Now we are talking about all the gifts and services that we can perform outside there. Hallelujah. That's the Father that we serve. Let's not be upset with the Lord. Sometimes we are upset with the Lord for nothing. He says, I have given you everything that you need for your enjoyment, for your fruitfulness, and for your prosperity. We now need to sit down and review and reevaluate and see what we need to do with the very things that he has blessed us with so that we can become prosperous. Failure to work in our gifts is going to end us up in frustration. It's going to end us up in jealousy. It's going to end us up in complaining. We're going to end up in blaming others. Hello? But he has blessed us. He didn't only bless us with the fruit of the womb. He didn't only bless us with, you know, things here and there. But he has blessed us with solutions. Some of us, we are solutions. Maybe you can't even offer the solution directly, but you can signpost somebody. Some people are good like that. Yeah. Some people are like a one-stop shop. You just tap into them and results are coming out just like that. Hallelujah. You know, um, the, the story in Matthew 25, there is a story in Matthew 25 about this master that came and he gave three talents to his servants. And two of them went, they invested, they did something with it. You know, the scripture is just like, you know, to what the kingdom of heaven is going to be like. You know, when we stand before the Lord, how accountable are we going to be on that day? He's going to ask you, what did you do with the things that I bless you? He doesn't want us to die and go into our graves without fulfilling 
purpose, of many things that he has instilled in us, he has blessed us for us to manifest. Hallelujah. You know, and the master gave three of them some form of investment. And the two went and they done something with what he gave them. They done something with the talents. And the last one did nothing. He went and they buried it. The, the next thing he was blaming the master. Oh, but you're this, you're crude, you're that. Who asked you to describe the man? The moment he gave the task, he should have said, oh, I'm not good at this. And sometimes even if we are not good at something, we can try at least. But he never tried. He just buried it. The Lord classifies such people as absolutely and pure lazy people. He does not want us to be lazy. Sometimes it's going to take hard work. And sometimes some of us will want to put in the hard work. And I'm speaking to myself. I realized that to be successful is going to be hard work backed with the blessing of the Father. And, you know, based on us following some basic principles that guides the very things that we want to do. So I just want us to pray. I think we've, we've received the message. It's all about our gift, identifying what is in our hands, what is in your hand, what is in my hand that can be a blessing not only to me and my family, but can be a blessing to others. Others' survival is depending on us. Others' employment is depending on you and I. Others' deliverance, others' healing, others' knowledge is depending on you and I. Others' encouragement is depending on you and I. Ooh, ooh. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, for as many of us that are struggling with identifying our gifts and talents and spiritual abilities, Lord, help us, show us, open our eyes to see where we need help. Others that you have endowed with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, help us to seek help. Help us to seek mentors. Help us to seek coaches that can help us to guide us. Thank you for divine helpers, divine directors, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, thank you as we put our gifts, we, we come against doubt, the many things that hinder us. Because most of us, we have identified, but we are just shy and we are intimidated. We are worried, we are anxious about launching out. Father, release grace, grace upon us all to launch out. Help us bless the works of our hands like your word reassured us that the works of our hands will be blessed. May it be fruitful for as many that are launching already. Father, let their work be blessed in the name of Jesus and help us to launch out into fruitful and genuine businesses, genuine activities, not crooked activities because your blessing will never be in activities that are crooked. It might seem like it is blessed, but the Bible says the end is destruction. Father, help us to pursue genuine, you know, honest gains in Jesus' name. We have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Just brought me to a reminder. Actually, in my um, local assembly, we've been doing this series about, um, you know, discovering your gifts, your spiritual talents and your abilities, NICC. So if you're free, you can bump into those teachings and it will really, really be a blessing. I've been inspired, you know, and I'm learning daily. But I just wanted to share this today because a lot of us are sitting on our gift. They've not been tapped. Ooh, they've not been tapped. Imagine. The Bible says, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living waters. Some of us are so loaded, including myself as I speak. I would describe myself like I've... I've not even scratched the surface, but I'm learning to step out little by little. You can do the same. Brothers, sisters, friends, families, thank you so much for lending your ears. I trust that you will be blessed and you have been encouraged to take action in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you.